Dan Willis here, and we're talking about how to increase your credit score. Do you have a less than perfect credit score? Sick of paying the high cost? Tired of being seen as a second class citizen? If so, you're in the right place. Our purpose is to share your rights as a consumer, insured and protected and granted by federal laws, along with how to exercise these rights to get a better credit score. Big picture, we need to take a multifaceted approach. This includes removing any credit report dings, blemishes, and negative marks because this is what's damaging and dragging your credit score down. After all, according to CreditCards.com and CNN Money, even a single credit report negative could bring your credit score down by over a 100 points. It's a bit like the impact of failing underwater basket weaving will have on your grade point average in glory school days past. Simultaneously, we need to use your current and any new credit accounts responsibly so you can build a trail of positive on-time payment history to ensure you earn a credit score truly representative of your credit worthiness. The first item on our agenda is the seven-year bad credit myth. Surely, you've heard some well-intentioned individual claim that if you have so-called accurate bad credit, there's nothing you can do but wait seven long, expensive, and embarrassing years. It's tragic because this simply isn't true. If you actually read the Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA, this federal legislation says seven years is the maximum amount of time most negative items can legally remain on your credit report. Did you catch that? Seven years is the maximum. In other words, there is no minimum amount of time any negative item must remain on your credit reports. Let us repeat, there is no minimum amount of time any negative item must remain on your credit reports. Further, there are no laws or legislation requiring our lenders and creditors to report our account information to the three major credit bureaus. They do so voluntarily. All the way back in 1970 is when Congress initially passed the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and the purpose is to protect you, the consumer. It's not on the books for the credit bureaus or debt collectors, and if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit report consultation by calling toll-free 1-844-517-7626. Now let's talk about the five credit score components. First, to have a conversation of value about how to increase your credit score, we need to know what goes into it and how it's calculated. Fair Isaac Corporation, or FICO, is the big swinger when it comes to credit scores as it's used in over 90% of lending decisions. Your FICO credit score is determined based upon the information contained on your credit reports, and you have more than one FICO credit score. You'll have a FICO score based upon your Equifax credit report, and you'll have another different FICO score based upon your Experian credit report, likewise with TransUnion. But that's not all. There's also industry-specific FICO scores. For example, if you're in the process of buying a new home, the mortgage industry has a unique FICO credit scoring algorithm. Alternatively, if you're in the market for a new car, the automotive industry may utilize a different and unique FICO scoring algorithm. The point is simply you have a multitude of FICO scores, and these are determined based upon the information contained in your credit reports. By the way, there's also the Vantage score, but for our purposes, you only need to concern yourself with FICO and the five credit score components we're going to be discussing. And if you'd like to know more, we're going to include a link in the description below over to an article on our website for the full story. We have a free report available there for you, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. 
Now, the first component and most important is your payment history worth about 35% of your overall FICO score. This is looking at all the positive accounts on your credit reports and any negative marks such as late payments, collection accounts, medical bills, charge-offs, etc., the second component is your amounts owed or utilization ratio, and this is worth about 30% of your total credit score. This is examining your total debt and comparing that to your available and unused credit. Look, having significant debt such as student loans isn't necessarily bad. Instead, this is focusing on your revolving lines of credit. For example, with a credit card, and it makes logical sense, if you have a credit card with a limit of $1,000 and your monthly balance is $200, you'll have $800 of available and unused credit. You'll naturally appear as a better credit risk than someone with the same credit card and a monthly balance of $977 or only $23 of available unused credit. Your third credit score component is your length of credit history, worth about 15% of your overall score. This is looking at how long you as a human being have been using credit, along with the age of each specific account on your credit report. Generally speaking, the longer the better, as it can indicate financial stability. Number four is your credit mix. This is worth a mere 10% of your score, and this is looking at what types of credit do you use. For example, do you have a credit card, student loan, car loan, etc.? The idea being the more diverse, the better. But you don't need to worry about focusing efforts here or in your last component here with the new credit worth 10%. Just like it sounds, this is looking at how often we're applying for new lines of credit. And it's only worth, as we mentioned, 10% of your credit score. The takeaway is we want to avoid appearing like we're on an alcohol-fueled Vegas vacation trying to buy a new boat every weekend. You're not supposed to be penalized for normal rate shopping, and with normal use, you'll be fine. If you'd like some more help, you can get a free credit report consultation by calling toll-free 1-844-517-7627. Again, that's for a free credit report consultation, and the toll-free phone number is 1-844-517-7627. This is Dan Willis. We're going to include a link in the description below over to an article at our website for the full story. We also have a free report available there for you, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. And of course, subscribe and join our congregation because coming up next, we're going to be talking about the 11 tips to increase your core, increase your credit score. Pardon me. So of course, subscribe and join our congregation. Have a wonderful day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.